In this video, I'm going to use custom CSS styles. We are done with the CRUD functionality and as you can notice, it's tedious to change your URL address manually every time we need to create, update or delete a post or a tag. And I thought that it will be a bit better to have a small panel with these links, something like a small admin panel in the right bottom corner, for example. And uh, in this video, I want to make such panel or a menu and uh, I am opening base HTML and at the bottom of the file, I am creating a new block. And I want a new admin panel block. Then I'm opening the basic block template in my blog app templates blog folder base blog HTML. And here I need the same block with the admin panel name. So and uh, inside the admin panel block I'm creating a new div with the admin panel class. And uh, the first link I want to have here is a link to the Django admin. Let's say it will be the a tag href will be admin. The class will be btn btn outline info and admin as the text. Also, I need links for create, edit and delete pages. So create, edit, delete and classes. Create and edit links will be like the read button on the post list page. Light button. So it will be the BTN, BTN light CSS class. And the delete button will be red. BTN, BTN danger class. And now I have to create a CSS file for the panel. And I want to have my panel at the right bottom corner and it will be semi-transparent. And I want it fully non-transparent when I hover a mouse cursor over it. So at the top level of my project where the manage py file is, I am creating a new directory, the static, and in that folder will be stored all static files, that's CSS styles, JavaScript files and images. And inside the static directory, I am creating another directory for CSS files. CSS. And inside the CSS directory, I have to create a CSS file. So I want to have styles CSS. And I want to define for the admin panel CSS class the red background. So admin panel. Uh, okay, but Django doesn't know yet that there is a new CSS file. And I have to attach the styles CSS file to my Django project. To do it, I need the settings py file. That will be block engine child folder. Settings py. And I'm scrolling down until the static URL variable. And it seems that the static URL variable contains a name of a folder with static files. This is actually true, but this variable defines the name of the folder with static files of Django applications, but not of the entire project. And uh, to attach my 
let's say, global uh, CSS file to the Django project, I have to define the static files dirs variable. Static files, plural, dirs, also plural. And it's a list. It's a list of directories with static files. And here I have to use the scheme I used when I attached templates directory. I need the absolute path to my static folder. And that'll be os path join base dir static. It's done, and now I need to use my styles CSS file in the HTML template. So I am opening again the base HTML template with the basic layout of my site. And first of all, I have to call the load function. And at the first line of my HTML template, I'm calling the load function and uh, passing into it the static as an argument. And then I'm creating a link to the CSS file as we usually do. So it's a link tag style sheet. And here I have to paste path to my styles CSS file. So That'll be static CSS styles CSS. And that's all. Let's test it. F5. And at the bottom of the page, I can see my admin panel with a red background. So in the styles CSS, I can delete this property. So my admin panel will have border with one pixel width, solid color. Then border radius will be two pixels. Then I need to move my panel to the bottom right corner. So its position will be fixed. And uh, from the right edge of the screen, I want to have 50 pixels. So right property will be 50 pixels. And from the bottom, let's say it will be 30 pixels. I wanted semi-transparent panels, so opacity property will be 0.3, 30%. And I want to have padding between edges of the panel and uh, the links. So padding will be 15 pixels from all sides. Let's test it. Okay. Fixed position. Great. I want to align them vertically. So as Bootstrap 4 based on flex boxes, the vertical alignment can be reached by adding to the parent container the align items center class. So let's add it to the admin panel. Align items center. F5. And nothing changed because child elements of the admin panel are not divs, uh, that's, they are not blocks, but they are links, that's, they are inline elements. And to change their behavior, I have to set to the A tags of the admin panel div the display property to block. So in the CSS style, I'm creating a new property admin panel A and here the display property will be block. Let's test it again. 
and I got vertical alignment and I want to add paddings between links or maybe margins margins margin from top and bottom will be 5 pixels and from left and right 0 pixels F5 again and I got the margins between elements great also I wanted to have the panel became non-transparent when over so admin panel hover opacity equals to 1 f5 great i think i'm done with the css for now and then i want to have links to the delete page and to the update page displayed only when i'm on the detail pages here for instance but not on the list pages not here and um, by the way i need to add the href attributes to my views so my admin panel and here there is another issue if i'm on a post detail page i want the update and the delete link referred to the post update and the post delete pages and when i am on a tag detail page these links have to refer to the tag update and the tag delete pages because i have two models here so i think that the simplest way to do it is to use the object of post or a tag classes in the template in some additional variable and then just call its get update url method or get delete url method respectively something like admin object get update url and delete so will be admin object get delete url and now i have to pass to the template the admin object variable so in the blog app utils py in the detail object mixing i want to pass into the template additional variable that will be admin object with the obj as the value okay let's test it f5 and we can see update and delete links okay And uh, the next step is to display the edit and delete links only when I am uh, on the detail pages. And uh, I think that the obvious way to do it is to check whether the admin object was passed into the template or not. So in the base, base block HTML, I'm creating a new if block that will check if admin object and uh, if it's true then I want to have these links let's test it f5 okay and I have only admin and create buttons. And uh, the last element is the create link. And here will be pure bootstrap. So I want to have a drop down menu here. But first of all, I have to add all 
bootstrap js files to my project so i just copy and paste those links to my base html template okay then i need a documentation page and there is drop downs section and i think to use this one So drop down toggle class I am paste here roll button and the other attributes I just copy and paste also here drop down div to the up I want to delete this and uh, options drop down menu options that will be post and uh, a tag href will be the call of the url function and uh, here post create url post create url and tag create url ctrl c ctrl v tag create url let's test it F5 create post and tag great it works that's it for now and the next video will be about restricting access to pages if you like the video please thumb up and subscribe to the channel